Today I'm just doing an oil change on my 919. And I figured since I'm down there messing around with it anyway, I have this aftermarket drain plug which has like a little magnet. It also has a provision for safety wire. You can see that this one's not the best quality. There should definitely be more than just a little paper thin piece of material left on the top there. I can see this definitely tearing through over time, but I figured it'd be a good idea for a video just to show you guys how to drill the bike for safety wire for your oil drain. It's definitely not a necessity if you're using a new crush seal and torquing it properly each time, but I don't know, something to do today. Once this one is kind of low quality, I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole on the opposite side that's a little bit better. Having an automatic center punch is really helpful with this. I'm thinking this side will last a lot longer. Next it gets torqued to 22 foot-pounds according to the manual. To safety wire things properly, you should always braid it in the direction of tightening, which is this way. So now I'm just going to drill a hole in this protrusion from the engine case here. So there's a ton of different types of wire that you can use as safety wire. There's legitimate safety wire, which you might look into getting a spool if you're actually going to do like racing or something, but it comes in 20 thousandths, 32 thousandths, and 40 thousandths as far as I know, and it's called lock wire or safety wire, but usually I just use whatever I have sitting around. I have like some stainless steel, some galvanized, some galvanized with a sleeve on it, uh, really just whatever uh, is malleable enough and strong enough that if you work it back and forth a few times, it's not going to break. So the galvanized isn't that good, but the... Uh, the stainless is actually pretty solid, but I'm just going to give you an example of what I'm going to do here. So you'll have to, you know, use your imagination, but all I'm going to do is go like this. And now when I twist it, you'll notice that I keep the ends at about 90 degrees of each other after I get this first twist. So there's the first twist. Now what I'm going to do is keep my two ends at 90 degrees. So once I have the distance down and say I want to anchor it somewhere over here all I do is just wrap it clockwise and then I'll anchor it to my opposite side and after I anchor it to the opposite side I'll just twist on the other side of the hole and then cut it off. So if you end up liking safety wire as a technique to uh, lock down your fasteners, there's definitely a lot more to it. There's specialty tools involved with doing it sometimes. There's specialty drill jigs that you can buy. All kinds of cool stuff. Um, there's, I think, some decent videos on YouTube. I haven't really checked, but if you guys are interested in my perspective and uh, some pointers, I'd be more than happy to make a video. Just let me know if that's something that would interest you. So as you can see, I have the safety wire pulling the bolt tight. If for some reason it comes loose, it can't turn. You'll also notice that I put a little bend in the end of it after I have it anchored to this hole over here. And that's called a pigtail, and that just helps everything stay together. But as you can see, this is nice and tight, and there's no real way that this fastener can come loose. 